like to get what you want. You're right. It's my favorite thing in the world. The problem is you don't have a clue what it is I want. Oh, no, no. I know what you want. I know what you're doing. And I know why you're doing it. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Uh -huh. You had this hot, torrid affair with Dusty, and, and then he... he tricks you out of a small fortune and then dumps you for another woman, and yet here you are, ready to go back into business with the guy. There's only one reason for that. Dusty, you got it bad for this guy, so bad you're willing to do anything just to be in the same room with the guy. Okay, you're so smart. Let's say you're right for the sake of argument. Let's say I want him, I miss him, I just dream about him. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter one bit because he's in love with Rose. Come on. Woman like you, you know how to reawaken the man's emotions. What if I can't? And I guess you're not the woman I always thought you were. <laughs> As for Rose being uh, any kind of a problem in all of this. Oh, so you've already got a plan to get Dusty away from Rose. Gee, I did really is right out of the Barbara Ryan playbook, and for that I am genuinely sorry. Planted listening devices at Dusty's new bar. Why the hell would you do that? I was hoping to find something there that I could use to bury Dusty. Oh, well then you have a problem because you just made a promise to your sister that you would not interfere in her life despite her attraction to Dusty. I didn't do this for Jennifer. I did this for Rose. Say. I'm not over her, and I'm going to do whatever I have to do to get her back. Well, Paul, I am not going to try to stop you this time. If you can't learn from your mistakes, then so be it. Hello? I'm standing right here. Either one of you peacocks want to hear what I have to say? Not really. It's too bad. Don't worry. It's very simple. You can follow it. I love Dusty. He loves me. We're together now. No matter how many dirty tricks you try to pull, Paul Ryan, nothing will change that. Got it. Let's get out of here. So what's next? Take this to Rose? Yeah. Kill any delusion she has about her ex-boyfriend. Did I miss anything here? Let's get out of here. I'm following you. Well, this is new. There are no handles on this door. Uh, well, let's try another door. Can you believe this? No. Are you telling me that we can't get out of here? Yeah, it kind of looks that way, doesn't it? Listen, call me crazy, but do you think that Paul might have rigged this fan so that Henry couldn't get out unless Paul actually let him out? No, I don't think so, but I think... Our friend Henry didn't have cold feet like we thought he might. I should have hit him with that bat. You know, maybe Paul sent him over on purpose to tip us off, to lead us here, where no one can find us. Everything that leads up to this meeting will appear entirely accidental. But you and Dusty will end up in a private place with nothing but time on your hands. And at that point, we'll see who can resist temptation. If this is a setup, Dusty, it's the most god-awful plan I've ever heard of. What a pathetic loser. Yeah, I'll second that. Can anybody hear me? Is anybody out there? Can somebody please get us out of here? Hello? Have fun, Hello? kids. Is anybody out there? Great setup. I mean... <laughs> What van doesn't open up from the inside? What van doesn't have windows that roll down? I don't know how long we're going to be in here. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. It's not your fault. You didn't know. You didn't have plans tonight, did you? <laughs> I canceled them because I thought you looked like you needed a friend, remember? So I'm going to make the most of it. Damn it. How the pay out here. <laughs> Hallelujah! Bless Henry's martini loving heart. Mm. Swallow. Woo. You know, we still haven't come up with a name for the club yet, and the ad goes in tomorrow. So, what's it gonna be? I just want to swallow. 
will. Hmm? You're leaving it up to me? I'm feeling very generous now, so I am. I'm gonna say whatever name you want. I told you a million times what I want. I want it to be Metro. Fine, Metro it is. I love Metro. Metro's great to Metro. Get really freaked out in small, tight, cramped spaces. You're kidding me. You were claustrophobic? It's no joke. I mean, this is very real. My dad used to lock me in the closet. Look, the point is, is that I just hope that I can keep it together. What happens if you can't keep it together? Um, I lose it, and it's not pretty. Although, I've lost it with you many times. Well, let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Oh, I will. Because whoever found the bug, I mean, Dusty or, or Craig or an electrician, for all I know, I mean, I would assume that, that they would be here with the van, but the van's not here, and, and they're not here. I gotta make some... Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. You set this up. I already told you that I set this nah, up. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. Something stinks. It's an alleyway. There's garbage Don't be everywhere. funny with me. Don't. I am as mystified as you were. If Dusty gets in trouble because of this... You go visit him in the big house. I'm going to hold you responsible. What does that mean? Oh, you know exactly what it means. If whatever's going on here keeps Dusty from opening the club or anything else, you're going to wish that you stayed buried in the Atlantic Ocean. at the same time, right? We can't do this. Come on. It's crazy. We avoid each other for months. And we get stuck in a man that's locked and it's being towed. I'd say it's not to be. Maybe. We don't even know where we're going. I'm the only one that's not the way we Now. I'm talking about the van. I'm talking about the van. <laughs> you hear me? And you pull Ryan. I mean, he bugs my place and then he has us towed. This guy's original. Where are we going? Who okay. cares? This is you. He called you Romeo. <laughs> oh, come on. You're angry. Yeah. Yeah, the guy bugs my, my bar. He's, he locks us in a renovan. The guy's got guts. With a certain obliging, really cool chick. Do you know how you stand it? How long have we known each other, Dusty? Long enough, Molly. Right. So from one friend to another, I'm going to tell you that you have a really nasty habit of banging your head against the wall. With Rose? Paul is never going to give up. And Rose is never going to make up her mind. Which leaves you, my friend, trapped in an endless game of Get Dusty. Now, you know, maybe you enjoy the life of a hockey puck. But I don't know. After tonight, I don't think so. I think that you enjoyed rolling around in that van with me. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you enjoy suffering. 